There's Skippy. Hi. You've been a little camera shy lately, haven't you? Huh. Thought I'd put you in my Friday video. You say hi to everybody? Huh? Should we get on with it? Yeah, I'll go ahead and do my video now. Hey guys, welcome back. So it's time for another Friday video. Um, I've been on vacation this entire week and I thought I'd get a lot more reading done than I did. Unfortunately, I discovered Pinterest. Uh, yeah, another social media network I didn't need to get involved in. Um, so I've been pinning up things all over the place. Uh, so yeah, hours of wasted time, not a lot of hours reading. But I did manage to finish one book, uh, Ubelblatt. This is a manga, volume zero, by Etoro Uji Shiono. Um, pretty good one. Um, I did do a Goodreads review on it. Uh, but anyway, what I'm reading currently and still reading um, for Japanese June is I'm participating in a whole month of Japanese literature and authors. I'm still reading Out by Natsuo Kurino. I'm about right there, so that's page 194. Really good psychological thriller. Um, fans of Gillian Flynn will adore this one. Um, maybe adore is kind of a strange word because we're dealing with four women who work in a factory and one of them finally snaps and kills her philandering, gambling husband. And she gets the other three sort of to help her hide the body including dismemberment and uh, hiding the parts around. That that description was a bit gruesome as they were, you know, describing it taking place. Uh, but yeah, now there's all sorts of other characters that may find out what's going on, blackmail and all sorts of things, but it is just a really, really good thriller and I'm definitely captivated by it. Highly recommend it so far. Um, I picked up a new manga and that is Master Keaton Volume 1 by Naoki Urasawa. I'm kind of a fan of uh, this particular mangaka with Monster. I really enjoyed that. And um, this one I'm not too sure about. Uh, we follow a guy, his, his name is um, Master Keaton. Um, he's a professor at a college where he teaches archaeology. He also sidelines as an insur a insurance agent, kind of looking into suspicious uh, claims and things like that. And he travels the world and um, the first couple of chapters I've read so far, it was like separate um, claims that he's been investigating and he comes into some danger for a bit and then that chapter's over and then a new chapter and a new new uh, claim and it was like, is it going to be like that the entire book? Because they're very short little things and not very interesting uh, other than his sort of kleptomaniac kind of personality. He sees something on the side and he ends up pocketing it, whether it's... Um, a spatula for paint or a, a roll of tape. It's like, and, and somehow that kind of comes into play uh, in the situations he finds himself in. It's kind of weird, but I've just kind of reached, let's see, page 66, so about that far in. And now finding out a little bit more about his background. He's a divorced father of a junior high student uh, who's not happy uh, that her father and mother have broken apart and that her mother's remarrying. And so getting a little bit more background with the character, but I'm hoping they'll be more in-depth with the storyline and maybe some things will start to tie together and it's not just going to be separate chapters of short little stories. So we'll see how that goes. And then for my audiobook, this is a non-Japanese theme one because I couldn't find anything, but it's a zombie one. It's Until the End of the World and it's by Sarah Lyons Fleming. It's, I think, part of a trilogy or so, but so far it's pretty good. Um, we follow this one girl, I think her name was Cassie Fleming. Um, she had survivalist parents, so there's this cabin out in the woods and stuff, and uh, she's sort of, her life's been kind of a bit at a standstill since her parents passed away a while back. She broke off her engagement to a man named Adrian, and she's with uh, another man named Peter, who she isn't truly in love with and plans on breaking up with him, just as a sort of zombie apocalypse breaks out. Uh, there's sort of a virus, it's been nicknamed the Bornavirus LX, and it is starting to change people into zombies um, because of the name of the virus, Bornavirus LX. The zombies are referred to as Lexers in the book, which is, it's like every kind of zombie book, they got to call them something different. Walkers, Lexers, uh, Zeds. It's like there's something different all the time just to make it a little bit more unique. But um, there are a lot of the same tropes you get with sort of a zombie apocalypse survival kind of storyline. But I'm kind of, the character's kind of growing on me, um, except for Peter, her now ex-boyfriend. Uh, who I really don't like, um, very selfish kind of guy and self-absorbed and, but the storyline is interesting. I'm about, I say about 50% of the way through and, uh, yeah, we'll see how it goes for that one. So that's what I'm reading and listening to this week and hopefully staying off of Pinterest a little bit more. Although I'm about to go see the movie Tomorrowland. If anybody has seen that, let me know what you thought of it. Um, I really hope to go see Jurassic World, but I couldn't get anybody to go with me. They're all a bunch of chickens. Uh, so anyway, 
I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye-bye.